And look who's joining us right now, Eric Bowling. Eric, good, good morning, morning to you. Guys. Good morning, Eric. Listen, before we find out uh, the extraordinary steps you are willing to take to make sure that those uh, sixth grade kids from Iowa get their tour of the White House, we want to tell you, it looks as if the White House tours are probably going to shut down tomorrow. Fourteen Republican senators, senators sent a letter to the President of the United States saying, hey, it, and there are the pictures right there, how much do these tours cost and how much do we save by suspending them? Because according to... All of them, including John Barrasso of Wyoming, it looks like the White House is punishing the people who own the people's house. Here's the Senate. It to me appears very petty in making this uh, decision to close the White House. It seems that if you're not well connected or well off, you're not welcome uh, in the White House these days. The American people deserve better. This is really, though, focusing folks on spending because people think about half of the money they send to Washington in the form of taxes is wasted and they're looking at this and saying you can't keep the White House open for tours but yet there's money wasted over here there's this program that overlaps with that program so I think it really has people focused on the spend and why is the president doing this because he couldn't get the tax raises that he's wanted mm -hmm. and that's the ridiculousness of this whole thing right Eric which is that you've got mechanized squirrels still being funded by the federal government you've got the White House calligraphers on staff you've got a number of them that you can send on invitations to the tune of two hundred and sixty seven or two hundred seventy seven thousand dollars a year and they can't keep open the White House tours for the American people. Right. Well, I, they certainly can keep the tours open. Here's how this, this came about. A couple of nights ago, ABC ran the story about the White House tours, and they showed the video of, of the little kids, the sixth graders from Iowa, who had planned on coming to the White House this coming week. Well, the White House is shutting down the tours as of the close of business today. So uh, they went through how much it would cost to keep it open, and they came up with about $18,000 a day. We did a lot of research, and it's probably closer to $70,000 a, uh, I'm sorry, a week. Um, so what I did was I said, yes, I went on the five. And I said, look, Mr. President, if you can't keep the White House open, let me try. Let me take it for a week. I'll pick up the tab. If I can get the White House doors open for those sixth graders in Iowa, I'll, I'll spend the seventy oh, grand, seventy-four thousand dollars. That's I'll, great. I, and I mean it. I'm not playing. That's uh, great. Listen, this isn't trying to upstage the president. This isn't playing a, a game. He's playing the political game by saying I'm closing the White House. He's punishing those kids. Sure. How many loopholes could he close of his own? How much spending could he close? You know, he went golfing with Tiger Woods. He sent his family to, to uh, Aspen on the same weekend. That costs a lot of money. Air Force won $180,000 uh, an, an hour. hour. Steve, they just spent TSA, uh, the TSA story in, in the headlines there. TSA just spent 50 million bucks on uniforms. Right. That would pay for the White House to stay open for well, about two and that years. That would also pay for the overtime so that we don't have to go through long lines at the airport. But look, right. Eric, I mean, they're... they're, they're People say that accusing them of picking things that are of high profile, of course, right? Of so, course. so many people travel and they'll be complaining if they have to wait long at the airport. And this White House tour, this is this is a big deal. If this was going to be cutting back on the guy who inspects fish, you know, down in in Tennessee or Arkansas, nobody would hear about it. So they chose things that would be high. But here's my question to you: Since you gave that offer, let's mm. see, 14 hours and 10 minutes ago, right? What have you heard? Sean Hannity, during the offer on the five, called into the show and said, "You know what, Bowling? That's such a great idea. I'm gonna, I'll pitch in a week, also." That's great. Um, Newt Gingrich said he would help raise money. Um, I'm sure Charles our viewers would do the same. You know, here's the thing. That's, right. That's not what this is. This is about the president making the right decision. They have until the close of business today. I'm going to call Jay Carney. I'm going to call him all day long until I get through. Hopefully, I get an answer from someone there telling us what yeah. they're willing to do. If they're not willing to open well, the White House, this is a larger I'll get a group. But to this, do it. you know, this always makes me sad because we'll feature a kid and we'll talk to a child who saved up his allowance a whole year, right? And then he'll send right. in a check yeah. for a hundred dollars to the White House and wants to put it to good use. I remember a kid sending it to George W. Bush, and you know what? That's like just a drop in the bucket. If they would just cut some of this waste and cut some of these programs. Sure. And I tell you, they uh, wouldn't have this on issue. Twitter last night, it blew up. People were saying, I don't have seventy-four thousand bucks to send you guys, but I got fifty bucks. Can I can I pitch in too? Look, let's do this. Can we do this? Yeah. There it is. Hashtag open our WH, open our White House. Let's get this trending today so that maybe press secretary Jay Carney at Press Sec, P R E S S S E C will Make the right decision. Right. He'll get the right people in the right places and right. keep that white house. You realize they're running for the Pepto Bismol right yeah, probably. now because they're a little. You're putting them on this. Get it trending. They'll have this to. Hear it. It's going to be a great you know, story all day. Here's the thing: the White House is not saving any money because uh, ABC says it costs seventy-four thousand dollars a week. Uh, they did some checking. They said because we've got to 
the tours take 37 Secret Service agents right. who make $50 an hour. Right. That's where they came up with that money. They're not furloughing those agents. They're still doing something somewhere. They're still on the They're payroll. still working. They're, They're still getting paid. They're not saving money. any money. No, this is clearly a, p a petty political little game he's playing. It's, it's, I guess to punish uh, or just show the American people, don't mess with him on spending. Don't ever question my spending. Or, or things like this will happen. Yeah. And, and well, at the heart of it all, it's our house. It's, it's the people's it's house. So you're closing our doors White House. To, to us. Let us know what you think about that. Friends at FoxNews.com. Go on Twitter and use that hashtag as well. You know what? Maybe just right there. <laughs> Can you walk no. along? Don't cover um, up his face, please. Don't, don't.